Hey, how we doing? Hi guys. Well, yes, we're back at our favourite place. Yes, we're back in Skegness and look at the weather. It's lovely and sunny and it's bank holiday Friday. So it was good Friday. And what I thought I'd do today is bring you all to Skegness with me. Take you for a walk down the seafront to the pier and uh, showing you what's actually open on Good Friday. Yeah, so before we start, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button ring that notification bell and give us a thumbs up if you like it also thank you to all my subscribers as well for subscribing it's been absolutely amazing what you've done for me uh, i really appreciate the support so let's go on that adventure yes so we're at the boating lake yeah, and right behind me is the Vintage Fun Fair. So yeah, once again, the Vintage Fun Fair is actually here for you guys. So bring all the kids along and have a go on the Vintage Fun Fair. Uh, what we'll do, we'll have a little bit walk, a little walk around it if he's if he's open. Yeah, it's a bit early, but should be open. I can hear some music playing. So yeah, let's go. Yeah, so we're at the boating lake, and what we've got here, we've got the remote control boats, and also we've got the uh, the pedalos, and you can actually have a, a rowing boat as well. So yeah, got some people in there already, lot having fun on the water. So this this lake is quite a big lake, yeah. So you can go down uh, in the summer. This is absolutely chocker. This this boating lake is. Everybody likes to come down to Skegness and have a go on the uh, the pedalos, don't they? Yeah. Right. So let's go a bit further. Somebody has actually asked me uh, how much the uh, pedalos and the boats are. So uh, I'll just go and have a quick look. See if I can. Uh, find a price list for you guys yeah so pedalos and rowing boats so one to two persons ten pound two persons ten pound three persons twelve pound yeah so there's your prices red pedalos uh, family fifteen pound and they also like have a little bumper boat so I don't think they've got those out yet so yeah Yeah, the Vintage Fun Fair is actually running, as you can see. So yeah, we'll be uh, going over there in a short while. Yeah, so these guys have even got a bar as well here. So uh, while you're waiting for the kids on the uh, boating lake, you can actually uh, grab a drink here, look. So yeah, they're selling all the spirits as well. Yeah, like I say, it's Good Friday and there's a lot of people turned up. I suppose it's uh, been, with it being raining all week, uh, everybody needs to get out. So as you can see on the front here, there is loads of people about. All starting to turn up. And all the, uh, all the fish and chips and the uh, ice cream parlours are all actually opening up. So yeah, really good day today, thank God been dreading it all week is it going to rain or is it going to be nice and sunny but as you can see the sun's come out so if you want to know where the boating lake is this is just uh, as you walk down towards the seafront and you just actually go through that little uh, tunnel there to it there and that takes you straight to it so we'll take a walk towards the sea towards the seafront yeah, so it looks like it's going to be a really busy weekend this weekend. So everybody's been waiting for a decent weekend. So you've got all the crazy golf. We've got even got a little bumper ride as well, little uh, little boating lake there as well for the kids with the little bumper boats in there. So yeah, you've got crazy golf, and you've also got the uh, go karts over there for everybody to do. I'll pop, probably pop round there in a minute. This is a popular fish and chip uh, restaurant here. It normally gets packed out in the uh, summer. I suppose they're going to be busy this weekend as well. And also the beach balls and everything's out. You can buy a windbreak. Get yourselves on the beach. All right, so this is the vintage fun fair. It's not quite open yet, uh, but it's, uh, 
I'll go and have a look, see what time it does actually open. There is a, a sign on the side, so we'll uh, we'll pop across. I think we're just testing the right at the moment. But there's the uh, Elter Skelter. Wow. Yeah, so the sign's saying it's open from April till September. Uh, open at 11 o'clock. Till late. Yeah, so what I'll do, I'll go down the seafront and I'll come back down here and uh, have a walk around there. Yeah, so this looks loads better now. They've actually uh, changed the layout of the, uh, the car park. So you actually, if you haven't been for a while, you actually go into a different way now to the car park where before you, you actually uh, came this way past the toilets. But so you can't come this way now. You have to go across the roundabout right down to the far end. It's still the same distance to walk, to walk. So yeah, this is loads better now. Now they've uh, pedestrianised all this area. But yeah, it looks like Nuttall's uh, donkeys are actually here as well today. They're getting ready for all those children. Yes, there's actually people on the beach, believe it or not. So yeah, there are, uh, <laughs> there's these people actually sat on the sand as well. As you can see, I'll just turn around and just see there. Yeah, so there's people sat on the, sa on the sand, getting ready for it to dry up a little bit more. Which I, I think it will do, no rain forecast today. A little bit cold, but it's still good. Yeah, so this is Skegness Beach, the main beach. A beautiful beach it is as well in the summer. As you know, guys, Skegness is the favourite place uh, for me to visit. So, yeah, we're here all the summer, all through the summer, and uh, most of the winter I'll come back for the day doing a bit of uh, seeing what's actually happening. And, yeah, we really enjoy coming here. I've got a bit of good news as well. So, uh, you know how Skegness has been going in the papers just lately, but uh, there's actual, actually a lot of people uh, that's actually moving away and uh, going to uh, different places. So, yeah, there's uh, a lot of hotels coming available again now, believe it or not. So, if you know what I'm on about. So, in the distance, you've got the fun fair, that's all open. It must have opened really early. Yes, I can't believe how bright this sun's coming out. Really good. So yeah, these guys are going to be really busy today. If it gets any warmer. So yeah, you guys have probably been down here before, grabbing your ice creams, all the different flavours. Hopefully they haven't gone uh, too expensive. I don't think they have. You can just see the price list there. Right, so we're actually down on the seafront that is a little bit busy as well. I was getting the uh, fresh air. So I've been stuck in all winter and I've come down to Skeggy to uh, get a bit of fresh air. So we'll just take for a wander down to the pier. And then I might even go towards the sea a little bit. I've actually bought a new gimbal for my uh, camera, so it looks a bit strange sometimes. That's why, because I'm just uh, practicing at the moment. So I want to get my, uh, my videos looking really good for you guys. And not too wobbly, so hopefully this will solve the wobbling. The sea looks really calm as well today. Beautiful. Can't wait to get in there in the summer. So uh, Skegness gets this beach cleaned every day.
see the funfair there with the big wheel. And we've got the rock and roller as well. Yeah, coming at Skegness Pier. Uh, we'll have a pop up there as well. So, uh, yeah, everybody keeps saying this that you're supposed to be actually uh, doing something with this pier. So, they're actually supposed to be uh, making it longer, and it's ooh, how many years ago this was announced now. But come on, guys, get it sorted, get this pier sorted out. You'll get a lot more visitors visiting the pier. They're even getting ice creams this morning. Yeah, so we're finally on the pier. Sun's gone in a little bit now, move it on up. But uh, yeah, God, how busy this pier is today. So yeah, coming up to dinner time. And uh, yeah, everybody is out now. Enjoying the uh, seaside of the wonderful place of Skegness, or Skeg Vegas, or Skeggy if you want to call it. As you can see further down there, this is the north side, so this is North Shore Beach over here. And you've got the premiere in just at the background there, look. This, this looks a new addition on the uh, on the pier. So if anybody knows what this is, is it a uh, generator, turbine or something? Uh, just pop it in the comments below. Let me know what it is. I should have read up about it uh, a little bit earlier. But, uh, I'm using my phone for filming, so uh, I don't know. I think it's a generator to generate the lights, I think, on the pier. Yeah, so we're down the far end of the pier tide's just starting to go out and it's a bit chilly but everybody loves to come down to Skegness on the pier look out to sea and it is a wonderful day Yes, I can't believe how many people is actually on the beach building sandcastles. The donkeys look like they're getting ready to come out as well. So I'm going to head back down towards that way. Uh, I'll take you for a little walk around the vintage fun fair and uh, to the uh, clock tower. So guys, if you're new to the channel and uh, you've not seen me before, I do loads of stuff around Skegness and the surrounding areas. I was in Great Yarmouth last weekend and it was absolutely hammering it down with rain. Yeah, so if you haven't seen the video on Great Yarmouth and you've not been there for a long time, take a look at that, see what changes there's actually been. I say it was a shame it was actually chucking it down with rain. Uh, but I had a good time, a lot of memories back there. 
yeah I'm going to be doing loads of stuff around Skegness this year uh, and Ingle Mells, uh, Sutton on Sea I might even go to Cleethorpes tomorrow, so keep a watch out for that video coming up this week uh, when I will be in Cleethorpes. Apparently it's been voted the worst seaside destination in the UK. Skegness used to be, and uh, now they've actually lost that. So probably it's since we've been, all us vloggers have been doing these vlogs on uh, Skegness, we've actually uh, changed uh, people's attitudes towards Skegness. And uh, yeah, the people are coming. So uh, there is a lot of people saying, oh no, no, we won't go to Skegness, but why not? There's nothing wrong with Skegness whatsoever. Uh, the place is getting uh, revamped in a few years and probably this year they'll start it. So yeah, they're going to start making it look really good here and uh, attract all the tourism. So I say there's a few new hotels uh, coming up. Uh, I think there's a travel lodge being built and a lot of the hotels are coming empty so yeah like i said earlier a lot of people are actually leaving uh, skegness because they don't like it is skegness so they're actually going to the bigger cities and uh, the hotels are coming up again so yeah good thing good thing Yeah, so we're back down to uh, where the lifeboat station is and uh, the pedestrian area where we came earlier and the uh, fun fair is now actually open so what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk you around the fun fair. So yeah, the vintage fair, been coming here a few years now, uh, attracts a lot of people. Yeah, so let's take you for a little walk around the Vintage Fun Fair. So we've got the gallopers going there. Everybody loves the gallopers. But yeah, it's really well uh, laid out, this little fair. Is so you even put hard standing, put wood down. So you're not walking in mud or anything like that, so yeah. They do this every year. Like the change where the dodgems actually are this year. They normally have them at the front. Okay, so I put the prices up, uh, showing you what uh, what it costs. So it looks like it's one pound twenty a token. Uh, so you can buy uh, ten pounds worth and twenty pounds worth as well, a special deal. Right, yeah. So uh, a bit later on in the year, we will all be coming to the Vintage Fun Fair, and I will actually do a onboard rides for you. Uh, so some POV. So yeah, I'll be bringing all the family to the Vintage Fun Fair and uh, showing you what's, uh, what the rides are like. Right, so I got the prices of the uh, $18 Adventure Gol Golf. 550 adults, 450 children, £17 for a family. And then we've got the, uh, the little mini port boats. They're also uh, £16 per boat, maximum of four people. This way to the Skegness Mini. Yeah, so this is the mini port where you catch your little boats. So yeah, they've got all little fancy design boats. It's got like a little lifeboat and stuff. So 
So yeah, I think it can. Uh, you probably be as long as you like on there. The kids look like they get life jackets as well. Yeah, so that's the mini port. So this bit here is the uh, go-kart track. So yeah, if you've seen my videos before and my drone footage, you can see the go-karts flying around. Uh, a bit of loud music playing at the moment, so I can't stay for too long. Your fortune is mine for the telling and yours for the hearing. Come let Zoltar tell you more. So there you go then guys. Hope you enjoyed that little walk around the seafront, on the beach, on the pier, vintage fun fair, showing you uh, the attractions that's uh, down the pedestrian area, like the go-kart in and the, the crazy golf, showing you the prices uh, that somebody's asked me to do for them which I uh, don't mind doing at all uh, yeah so yeah that was really good I really enjoyed that little walk there well refreshing there's even people on the beach it's brilliant there you go then guys hope you enjoyed that little walk around Skegness uh, it's brilliant to be back brilliant to see all the people about brilliant to see the people on the beach as well as you can hear in the background you can see here the trawlers catch well i will be going in there one day to do a food review yeah because i know it's brilliant some people mm, don't like it but i think it's brilliant so yeah i'll be doing a food review in there soon so yeah please join me in the next video uh, also before we go please don't forget to subscribe to the channel ring that notification bell and give us a thumbs up if you like it and uh, we'll see you in the next one.